many people practice dancing over here. Itadakimasu. This is the exit that you have to take. Ryan's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokao. Alright, so I'm in JR number station. I get a lot of requests to make a video how to get to the JR number station to Dotonbori. Well, so in this video, I try to introduce the how to get to the Dotonbori food street from this number JR station. It's a bit far and a little bit complicated, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna show you how to get there and then I will try to show you the full street view so that you guys won't be lost, right? And also, in the way to get there, there is a kind of like a small underground food street which looks pretty good too, so I'm gonna show you that too. Let's go! That's the exit. After you get out from the exit, just keep straight and then you're gonna go to the downstairs. There is a way to get there from the runway. However, I recommend you to go from the underground. Now I'm in Okat, where the bus terminal is located. If you wanna see how the Okat looks like, please check my other video. Well, so when you get out, you will see the two ways one is the escalator to going downstairs, and the other one is going upstairs. You have to take the escalator to go down. Well, actually, speaking of this number Okat, as you see, there are many students practice dancing, right? Since they are kind of like a mirror, well, many people practice dancing over here. I practice the break dance over here too. Yep. You see, there is a mirror, right? That's a place. If you come over here in the nighttime on the weekend, you will see many people practice dancing over here. Okay, so let's go back to the street. Firstly, you have to take this escalator to go to the number walk. It's a bit long walk. However, since you can walk underground, you won't get wet even in the raining day. And you have to keep straight. <laughs> Look at this walkway. Cool, right? Yes, that's right. This is like an airport. And you have to keep straight. Make sure go for the number walk. Well, so when you get here, don't try to go to the Kintetsu Hanshin line. You have to go to the number walk. Yes. This is the way. If you go down by this escalator, you will get to the Hanshin Line station. So make sure keep walking sidewalk. When you get to the, this kind of like artistic street, yes, you are on the right track. And you will see the family restaurant rest side called Italian Tomato Cafe. Italian Tomato Cafe is a popular chain restaurant in Japan. You can find it pretty much anywhere. The restaurant compared to other restaurants, the price is really cheap. And then they have like pasta and other some Italian foods. If you want to try the cheap Japanese Italian food, that would be the good place. Okay, so here we go. Well, so when you get here, actually underground food street gonna start. There are two streets. Left and right. In this video, let me introduce the right side of the street. Let's keep walking. At the entrance, you will find the Tachinomi Izakaya. There is no seats, but the price is cheaper than usual places. So if you want to have quick drink and snacks, you can try Tachinomi Izakaya. It's really popular for Japanese busy salary men who don't have time and money. It sounds a bit sad, but it's one of the Japanese culture. Well, as you see, there are so many restaurants in this street. So many choices. Well, actually, there are restaurants in Okat too. So if you want to try some food, but you don't want to go to the Dotonbori food street because it's too far, maybe you can grab some food in here. Well, speaking of the, that JR number street area, actually, I made a video before showing around, you know, JR number station and the bus terminals. So if you want to see inside the JR number station, 
please check that video too. Oh my goodness, this place smells so good. This is a side dish store. You can buy food by weight. There are many Japanese side dish. It's really interesting. I really want to try that, but today I want to try something different. Yes. This is the place that I want to try. They have a new stuff. This place called the Beard Papa no Shoe Cream. Well, I believe you guys can find it in other countries as well. well I remember there was a store in California as well. Anyway, so they have a new stuff. Let me try that. It looks pretty good. It's a popular cream puff store in Japan. Their cream puff is so good. Look at those cream puffs. Yummy. I really wanted to try their new stuff. So let me grab it. All right, so I got this. The price is 260 Japanese yen. They made a collab with the Koeda, which is a really popular Japanese snack. So let me try it. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Loving it. There is a chocolate cream inside. There are crunchy cookies on top. Mm, I love this. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot that I'm uh, showing the way to get to the Dothamori. Well, so let me go back to the guide with this. Mmm, it's so good. Let me finish it so that I can go back to the guide. Oh, so that was so good. Okay, let me go back to the guide. So after you finish that food street, you will get back to the subway street again. In the subway street, you have to keep straight. Now you see more people, right? Yes, you are getting close to the center of number station. And you will see the subway Midosuji entrance. Don't get in, don't go down right, don't go turn left. Just keep straight. Yes, this is the way to get there. It's almost 5 p.m. If it becomes 7 p.m., there will be more and more people. So you have to get ready for the crowd if you're visiting number area. So when you get here, there are two streets, right side and the left side. If you want to go to Dothanbori, maybe you'd better go left side. So let's keep walking this street. Here we go. From here, another part of number walk starts. Speaking of this number walk, usually there are many people. Especially today, it's Friday night. Therefore, so many people over here, right? Compared to that food street, this place is more like, you know, clothes and accessory stores so probably if you want something not here over there well so when you arrive to the b12 exit which is over here there is a kind of park in front of the b12 exit so probably you will not miss it usually there is something with whale today there is a halloween but i'm pretty sure after halloween they have something new, so don't think there is gonna be the Halloween object. Just think about there is a whale. This is like a whale park. Speaking of this Halloween event, there is a beautiful flower earth. It will be here only for several days. So if you are visiting here before Halloween, make sure visit here as well. It's really beautiful. If you come over to this number work, make sure try to check this place. Usually, there is something beautiful, and then you can take a picture. So, when you see number B12, this is the exit that you have to take. When you get here, use the left side stairs. And you will see the street in front of you. You have to make left. Make sure to turn left. If you go turn right, you will see the Nankai Napa station. So, turn left. 
When you turn left, you will see the street. Well, Dotanbori Ebisubashi Bridge is almost there. So now you are in Ebisubashi Suji, which is one of the most popular streets in Namba area. Let me teach you some little tips. So when you walk some crowded place in Japan, make sure to try to keep left side. That's the manner in Japan. So as long as you find a street with many people, keep left side. That's the proper way to walk in Japan though. Dotonbori food street is almost there. Oh, by the way, if you are coming from Nankai Namba Station or Midosuji Subway Station, there is an another video which explains how to go to this place. So please check those videos as well. And here we go. Yes, this is the Dotonbori food street. Also, when you keep straight, you see the bridge over there? Yes, that's the Ebisubashi Bridge. And that's the one of the most popular Osaka signature, Guriko Running Man. Well, somehow, there is no light today. But usually, light is on, so you can take picture easier. However, I think something wrong today. Anyway, you see over here, so many people, right? Uh, actually, you know what? <laughs> this place is kind of noisy. So let me go to the quiet place. I move to the Kuromon Ichiba Fish Market. This is one of the most popular Osaka travel spots. Well, for locals, it's kind of expensive. Anyway, in nighttime, usually there are less people. And also, this place is quiet as well. So I move here. All right, so this video, pretty much that's it. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really encourages me to keep shooting videos. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friend. It will really help me to grow my channel. Oh, and please check my Instagram account as well. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my videos. Arigato, so bye bye.